Hey YouTube, it's your boy Love, Love Life Trucking. Just thought I'd tap in because, you know, speak on my own personal experience with um, a company you might have heard of by the name of Super Ego. Um, disclaimer, this video ain't in no way to bash them, uh, drag them through the mud, defame their character, you know, speak on things they may have done or not done allegedly. Uh, coming off a of personal experience because I have worked there twice actually. Um, and you know, I, I, you know, I know you guys are thinking, oh, if you did your research, why did you, you know, work there twice? And hey, if you, um, had a bad experience the first time, why did you go back? Well, basically the short version of it is that, um, originally when I did work there back in 2020, uh, I believe it's around, no, no, I'm sorry, not 2020, uh, it was 2021. Um, it was because I was actually just trying to expand my business at that time. I had my own authority. Um, I had my own truck. I had a 15 freight liner I got from a dealership. Um, you know, and I was doing my own thing. But the thing was, I hired a driver to drive my truck. So I figured the quickest way for me to try to go get another truck was to, um, you know, to go to them, lease a truck. So I'll drive their truck while um, I hired a driver to drive mine. Well, unfortunately, things didn't work out with that driver. Um, but during the first time I was with Super Ego, um, they were in their smaller office at the time. Uh, I won't lie, I did pretty good for myself. Um, I think my what, my truck note was what, $600 a week, um, stuff like that. Didn't really have a, um, didn't really have an issue the first time. I only stayed there about a month, month and a half though. Um, made pretty good on my checks because rates were a little better at the time. And, um, really just had to kind of leave there because my driver was messing up. He was showing up late. He was causing a lot of faulty repairs to my truck. He rode around with the suspension air dump button on for about a week, which caused me to have problems and he blew out maybe one or two of my airbags. You know, the list goes on and on. He fried out my inverter. You know, there was so much other stuff that went on that I had to let him go. Therefore, I had to go back and get my truck and let the Super Ego truck go back. So when things went kind of went south for me last year, um, I had lost my truck because my truck crapped out on me. Um, a whole list of problems with that. I decided to go back to Super Ego, you know, um, after my stint, my original stint with uh, Hirschbach. Um, and so I decided to go back there because, you know, I wanted to get my freedom back. You know, there's nothing against Hirschbach, but I couldn't get home like I wanted to. And when I was with Super Ego the first time, I could get home kind of when I wanted. So I decided to go back. This time was totally different. Um, ended up with a uh, blue uh, international uh, truck was extremely dirty when I got it, but they did clean it out. Um, you know, truck immediately off the bat had, um, you know, issues with um, had you no know, immediately before I even get it, I had to get it off the lot. Um, there were three tires that needed to be changed, both steer both steer tires. And one of the drive tires they needed to be changed before I could even move it off the lot. Uh, which I'm glad I had found that before I moved it off the lot. Um, also, um, behind that, the truck had transmission issues. Um, which I told them and they said, well, you know what? Not transmission issues up front. It was, it was issues with the air. Um, which, you know, there was an a, a air leak, which I did find by doing my pre-trip. So I always do your pre-trip. Um, but yeah, so after that, I drove the truck thinking nothing was really wrong at first. For, what, about three or four days into it, transmission starts, you know, slipping gears really badly. Like, it would, I would be driving and it would slip into neutral sometimes or, you know, just sitting in park. It would just start making these weird noises, so I did tell them about it. They were like, oh, just come to the terminal, we'll, we'll get it fixed. Um, would not get it fixed. So after I tried to get it fixed, they tell me that it's my problem, you know, and I have to get it fixed. Mind you, this is a trans, this is a, mind you, this is after I had taken it to a dealership like they told me to and, um, you know, found out that there was a problem with the turbo and everything, which they initially told me they would get fixed. They told me to take it to a dealership, get an analysis done and they would get it fixed. But when the problem came up that not only was it the turbo wrong with the truck, there was, the truck was having transmission issues, which the dealership told me could be basically equate to about a $10,000, $12,000 repair in total. 
you know, if not even more, trying to get the turbo and transmission fixed. I told them about it and they just washed their hands of the situation, didn't want anything to do with it. So that led to me bringing the truck back. You know, I, I was at that point, I was like, no, nah, I'll just go back to where I was. Um, you know, so I prepared to turn the truck in. So while I went back to uh, Hirschbach, was in orientation. Um, well, you know, before Super Ego, you know, before I left Super Ego, I, you know, ran a load. I, um, you know, I ran a couple loads. Turned it in, was expecting my last check. I should have had about two or three loads on that check. Just like with the first time I was with them, actually, they took my last check. Not only did they take my very last check, but the check before that, which deposited into my account on a Friday, that Monday, they tried to go in my bank account and withdraw that check back out. True story. Like, that's not something that's alleged. I can show the bank statement where I was deposited an amount for my last, uh, for my next to last check. And then the amount where they tried to go and pull out and I had to call my bank and pay $30 to do a stop pay on it. And you know, you should never have to do anything like that. And I'm not sure why they did that. They never sent me a final pay stub. They never even told me why they tried to do that. And then on top of all of that, they kept trying to call me, text me, email me, Facebook me, trying to rehire me. Um, that's no disrespect to y'all, but after the way y'all conducted business, I would never go back. Um, and more shout out to the people that go. If you did your research and you feel like Super Ego is a good fit for you, then by all means, you, you go. I won't tell any driver what to do with their career because, you know, a lot of drivers will tell you not to, hey, not the lease, not to be an owner operator. Rates are bad. Fuel is bad. Everything is bad. Yet they're doing it too. If it's so bad, why are you still doing it? You know, so... I let people do what they want, but if you asked my opinion, I would tell you to definitely uh, do your research before you go. And if your research tells you to go, go. Wish you the best of luck, driver. But if your research is telling you, nah, let me stay clear away, and don't just go by YouTube. Do your own research, please. Please, please, please. But anyways, y'all, I just wanted to give y'all a quick flash as to what happened with me when I was with Super Ego. There is a class action lawsuit against them, but that's, you know, neither here nor there my situation was purely pertaining to what happened to me that you know a repair with a truck you know and i get as a lease owner operator you know repairs should be on you but this was five six days into my lease with them you know this is something that i couldn't have seen in a pre-trip i'm not mechanically inclined i wouldn't have looked in a pre-trip and saw that there was something wrong with the turbo and the transmission that's not something i would have scoped out in a pre-trip um but yeah, anyways, y'all, what was done was done. Turned it back in. It's no hard feelings. It's just, yeah, y'all did try to take my last check and y'all tried to withdraw it back out. But hey, if you guys still want to go, go. Um, but anyways, if y'all have any questions, concerns for me, for what I'm doing now, obviously I'm an owner operator with Schneider. Um, you know, and I am enjoying it to the fullest. I wish I could have done this a lot sooner. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, you know, you can email me or, you know, we could talk on the phone. I would love to do any kind of collaborations with any other drivers out there. Um, YouTube, I don't care if you work for a different company. I don't care who you drive for, where you drive and when you drive. If y'all want to ever collaborate on a video, feel free to hit me up and we can talk about that. I would love to do that. Otherwise, y'all stay safe, stay on the road, be blessed. And, um, y'all have a blessed day.